Yeah. Must have been a big game, Aaron Fitz here. No, one of the biggest. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. You know, great crowd. Uh, told the guys for the game, you got to get them in the game, though. We didn't get them in the game until the eighth inning. Carlson, um, he deserved better. I told Coach Forbes and Bryant Gaines, man, the kid pitched his tail off for two years in a row. We've had no answer for him. Um, he was great. Um, thank God they went to the bullpen. That was the difference in the game, and our guys put together some tough at-bats, and we got the momentum rolling. How about you now with Trey, having a guy that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with Carlson? I mean, he, lo he looked like an ace. Yeah, I mean, UNC's got a really good offensive lineup. They made Trey pitch backwards. I mean, that's the difference this year between um, Trey and last year. He was a two-pitch guy. Um, guys could sell out to his fastball. Now he's got four pitches um, that can really keep guys off balance. And I mean, he had to be special tonight or we weren't going to have any chance to win the game. What was that like watching the crowd get into it and watching your guys feed off it? Because it came out of nowhere and you guys took off full steam. Well, I mean, that's what uh, Clark LeClaire in the jungle will do to you if you can get them into it. So I told them, like, we're never out of the game when we're playing home in front of our home crowd. And we wouldn't have won the game today without our fans for sure. Knowing you don't have to play tomorrow, did you manage the game, you think, any differently than you would have had a game as it goes to your bullpen? Or was it always win tonight? I'm going to try to be really nice with that question. We were trying to win tonight. And if we'd have played to tomorrow, We'd have managed it the same exact way. You know, you play one game at a time. And you know, Coach Forge, my high school coach, always used to tell me it might rain tomorrow. So you manage it one game at a time. Coach, what is it about Jacob Starlin in those moments where he just seems to come through? Yeah, I mean, he's had some big moments here, but this year he's a much more complete hitter. I mean, he just missed a home run early in the game. He hit it off the end off Carlson. Um, but his approach is much better than it's ever been. Colby Bortles has worked his tail off with Star, and Star's just continued to grow up. Pretty big swing there, too, by Moreland to kind of jumpstart that thing. I mean, how obviously, how important is it to get him going, and how close do you think he is? Yeah, I think he's close. You know, uh, him and I have been working a whole lot trying to just get him closer back to what he was doing his freshman year, and he's uh, been closer. Last Sunday, he had a couple knocks, and, you know, uh, he always has the ability to hit the ball out of the park at any point in time. So, but definitely a big swing with two strikes there. Coach Sack, you know, gave up a couple hits, a couple runs, but he, he was able to recruit himself and close it out. Yeah, I mean, he, he came to play big boy baseball, and, you know, J.C. misplayed a, a ball in the outfield, so we had to really go through the heart of their lineup. And um, it, it's not fun sitting there when you have to go through the top of their lineup because it's really good. But, hey, big boy baseball, Roots a freshman, so it's just great for him to get out there and have experience in that kind of moment. Coach, you've seen a lot of great games here. Where does this one rank regular season game-wise? Oh, man, I don't know. Um, it's, it, was, it ranks up there. But, uh, you know, the whole time I was thinking back to 18 when we beat UNC 2-1 to one and Trey Benton and Tyler Smith um, gave up one run. And I forget who pitched for uh, UNC. Um, started with a D, Delatry, I think. So, um, but it was just sitting there the whole time, just a really tough pitcher's duel, and, and that's what it was tonight. Thank you, guys.